that was a little bit more There's a ghost. Right. <laughs> Hello Heavy Metal Maidens and Masters. I'm Heavy Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a Mary Wyatt haul for you. But before we get to that, remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and thank you to all of you that already do. Hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload and welcome. So today I have a Mary White haul. This is actually the first of two Mary White hauls I have coming up. Uh, if you weren't aware, it's been my birthday fairly recently and I received quite a lot of new items. I have a few items in today's haul that I purchased a little while ago and they just didn't seem to fit into, well actually I couldn't fit into them so that was why I didn't want to put them on camera quite frankly, but I fit them now. Yay! So I am going to show you those. So everything in this haul except for the first item are linen items from Mary Wyatt. So a little bit about Mary Wyatt. If you weren't aware, Mary Wyatt are a UK based, London based, female owned small clothing business. They are female owned and run. Everything that they make is ethically sourced, ethically made and it is all manufactured here in the UK in London. So I love Mary White. I mean, this is from Mary White. I have quite a few dresses, um, little dresses from Mary White. I, there'll be some other stuff that I'm gonna show you, but I love their stuff. It's kind of casual and easy to wear. So I really, really like this. This is like an oversized t-shirt dress. They've got baby doll dresses, lots of things like that, and lots and lots of linen, which is what this haul is today. And as I said that everything in this haul is linen, this is the only item that is not this is the Mary White Bathory Plunge Midi Dress. So this is a beautiful dress. This is, it's not the kind of thing that I would normally buy. I actually got this because, I don't know if you're aware, but I've started doing social media for a couple of different companies and one of the companies I have to go into the office. Because it is quite a well-to-do company, I have to have a bit of what I would call corporate goth in my wardrobe, which I didn't have before, where my other job where I work in the lab, you wear a lab coat over the top. So as long as you're clean and tidy, they don't care what you wear. So I wanted to buy something that was a little bit more corporate goth and so I thought this dress was the perfect, perfect dress to get. So it is 100% polyester and it has this beautiful deep plunging neckline here. Now I must admit when I wear it to the office I wear it with a little vest top underneath just because it's a little bit too deep and plunging for corporate goth as it were but I think it's it's just really stylish it's got these beautiful sort of wide kimono style sleeves that I think it's really flattering and it gives it a casualness but also gives it a, a real tailored look they've done a really good job of tailoring it it's got beautiful little darts here and there it's just a very well thought out piece it's also ruched here the most ruching is here and then it eases out. It's been very cleverly thought of. It's got belt hoops. It did come with a belt. I can't find the belt. I don't wear it with the, the belt that it came with. I will wear it with a more structured belt. It is again then more ruched here at the back and it's just been really beautifully sewn in. It's got a hidden zip here at the back. We've got this beautiful V-shaped waist at the front and then it's again wasted at the back. It is fully lined as well, so it is really comfortable and floaty to wear, and it has dramatic slits down both sides at the front. So it's a little bit sexy, it's a little bit saucy, but it's also a little bit corporate goth, and I, I just absolutely love it. I am a UK 8 to 10, I am 160 centimetres, that is 5 foot 3 to 5 foot 4, and I got this in a size 10. Uh, and I love it, I love it. It's really, really beautiful. It's not something that I wear, like if I'm just going to the supermarket or something. I sometimes feel if I'm not careful, some of the, the items that are shaped like this can look a little sort of mumsy, you know, and that's not how I like to present myself. I think if you wore this as a 20 something year old, nobody's gonna think it looks mumsy. But because of my age, if I don't accessorize this the way I want it to, it like I said, it can look a little bit mumsy. So I like to wear it with a statement belt. I've got a fox blood belt. There's like a Western style belt. So it's got double buckles. Um, that looks really cute. Also the Disturbia belt with the big O-ring and all the chains down the side. That looks great with. I like the belt and the, the accessories that I wear with it to be quite boldly goth so that it 
definitely cannot be misconstrued as mumsy. I really like wearing it with the Disturbia belt. I've got a huge Killstar hat with a great big O-ring at the front and some witchy boots. I think the Killstar violet boots. I actually bought those to wear again as like a corporate goth kind of pair of boots and I think they look really really great together. For my age I think if I just wore these with you know a pair of flip-flops or something there is a potential for me to look a bit like a middle-aged woman and I I know I am a middle-aged woman and that but I don't want to look like all the other middle-aged women at the school gate. It's probably my way of trying to grow old disgracefully so <laughs> I love this dress though, it's it's really different. If you want something for like your office job or something like that, or you want something that's a little more structured maybe for a party, you don't want to go this sort of kill star, lots of buckles and zips and slashed things and that kind of thing. If you want it to be a little more polished, I think that this is definitely the dress for you. It's super duper sexy. On me, it's pretty long. Um, I think, you know, if you were a taller girl, obviously it won't be as long, but they do call it um, a, a midi dress because it does come, on me, it's it's almost floor length. I dread to think what their actual long dresses would look like on me. Everything they call a midi on me is pretty much down to the floor. But yes, it's a beautiful dress. It hangs really well. If I'm just wearing it for an event or something like that, I would definitely wear it as is. But like I said, if I'm wearing it to the office, just because of the people that I'm with, I like to wear it with, with a little vest top underneath, just to keep my boobs in. <laughs> but that is the Mary White Bathory Plunge Midi Dress. So the next items, I had to include them because they are linen, but neither of them are actually technically available anymore from Mary White. Um, you could probably get them on Depop or eBay, something like that, get them secondhand. But I still had to include them because I had to show you because the other items are sort of inspired by these. So we have two items. We have the Mary Wyatt Sister Magdalene skirt, which is a midi skirt with buttons down the front. We have two pockets here with sacred hearts, burning sacred hearts on the pockets. They're great pockets, nice and deep. And then we have buttons all the way down the front. We have this double double layer waistband here which is then elasticated and ruched at the back so it's really comfortable and easy to wear this literally unbuttons the whole way down as well it's not sewn and just a few buttons this literally unbuttons the whole way down and then with it I have the Sister Mary crop top which is absolutely beautiful so this crop top is very very special as well it's got the Mary Wyatt branded buttons down the front we've got four buttons here uh, it has got these beautiful roses on the back here. We have a shearing panel at the back so it fits really nicely and comfortably. And then we have these detachable straps. So you can either have them, I like to wear them so that they cross at the back, um, but you can wear them so that they go straight over just like a normal bra strap. I find if I wear them like that, they tend to flop off quite a lot. Um, and they are designed here to be tied up, which so I prefer to cross them at the back uh, because I find that it just keeps them under tension better and they stay up a little bit better. So this top is beautifully tailored. We've got it as a sweetheart neckline here at the front. It's really, really cleverly tailored to, to fit your boobs at the front. And then, like I said, we've got the shearing panel at the back. We've got the hooks for the removable straps. You can't completely remove them at the front, so you couldn't wear it like a bandeau top. I mean, I suppose you could, you could stuff these tie-ups down the front if you really wanted to. It's not my style, but I do quite like the fact that you could wear it as a halter top if you wanted, or you can cross it normal, at, or you can have it crossed at the back how I choose to wear it. These look beautiful together, that I really, really like them. I love the way that the textures meet and you get that little panel of, of skin flashing between the two. It's just a little bit sexy I have to admit though the so I got both of these again in a size 10 um, and when I first got them uh, which was last year actually I got them I was too big for them and I just didn't feel comfortable in them at all I could feel the button stretching at the front here it felt like there was like a squidge of skin coming out between the two I just felt deeply uncomfortable my boobs were way too big for this as well it looked it looked utterly overstretched. 
now I've lost the weight I, I still would like to lose a little bit more because I still have some older clothes that don't fit but I'm really pleased that I can get into this I'm just a bit gutted that they no longer make it anymore and that I'm literally only reviewing it now but I mean when I got it they were I think the top was on sale because it was one of the last ones available so you know unfortunately it's no longer available but as you can see it does look beautiful and if you want to get yourself one check out Depop check out eBay all those great secondhand places see if you can get yourselves one of these so that is the sister Mary crop top and the sister Magdalene skirt from Mary Wyatt so this dress is stunning this is the Mary Wyatt maiden linen dress this dress is 75% viscose, 25% linen. It has a fully sheared body. So as you can see, there's this shearing panel that literally goes the whole way, all the way around your body, which means it's incredibly comfortable to wear and it is really, really body con. It, it's, it is snug and fits you beautifully. It holds you right across the boobs it's gorgeous we've then got elastic all the way along here all the way up the top of the sleeves all the way around the back so it is fully elasticated again which makes it really really comfortable um so you've got these beautiful half length sleeves which are again elasticated at the bottom with this gorgeous barbed wire motif on both of the sleeves absolutely love that these are elasticated half length puff sleeves but i really like the way that they're shaped here so look if you look ever so slightly shorter here than they are there they just sit beautifully on your arms really really gorgeous so then we've got another again full length skirt with a side split again so it's sexy 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 and on both sides of the skirt we have giant pockets we love a giant pocket I mean who doesn't love pockets everybody loves any dress skirt whatever that has pockets I love the barbed wire embroidery. I just, I love these puff sleeves because you can either wear them up so that they sit covering your bra straps or you can push them off of the side of your arms and make a real bardo style top out of them, which is super duper sexy. You, it, it just depends how you want to wear it that day. Again, this dress looks stunning with a statement belt. And again, you can go for something that's prim and proper and just a little belt with a little pretty little uh, buckle on it or you can go for a full leather o-rings straps bondage style belt it just looks stunning with everything i love this dress i can wear this dress when i'm doing corporate goth i can wear this dress when i'm doing like middle class garden party type goth or you can make this look really really metal af it's awesome it's such a versatile dress i absolutely love it the material is so easy to wear it's just it's such a great item to have in your wardrobe because you can wear it for so many things i've worn it for weddings i've worn it for garden parties I've, it's just such a great one to have in your wardrobe for all those different events that you might have coming up in your life it's beautiful and everybody always compliments me on it when i wear it it's just such a flattering cut this square neck he neckline is so flattering on the decolletage uh, but then also if you wear it as bardo super super duper sexy it's just a stunning dress i was so pleased when i managed to get my hands on this absolutely love it that is the mary wyatt maiden linen dress okay so when i showed you the sister mary crop and the magdalene skirt this is essentially where they turned that two-piece into a one piece so this is the ebony button down midi dress so the top is a very similar shape to the sister mary crop top we've got buttons all the way down the front of this dress with the mary white logo on them this one again is 70 percent viscose 30 percent linen uh, we again have a shearing panel at the back here now this one the straps are not removable but they are adjustable so you can change the length of them to make them suit your body length because some people have got a very short body some people have got a long body it also depends on the side of your size of your boobs it's again beautifully shaped they've managed to this one they've got little bust darts in it as well which just means it sits really nicely on your boobs you may find if you're really well endowed you need to size up just to, to get yourself in there but the shearing panel at the back does mean that you've got quite a bit of stretch so it does allow for quite a bit of of a size difference in your boobs if you are 
quite well blessed in the boobs department um you've got these beautiful again the barbed wire embroidery again on these pockets that are on the front so they are very similar to the skirt the magdalene skirt again it's just beautiful it washes really well it, again it looks great with a statement belt it's just it's beautiful again on holiday this dress was amazing i was gutted i meant to take the maiden dress with me when we went to lanzarote and i forgot it to be honest I think with the sleeves it might have been too hot in the heat of Lanzarote bearing in mind it did get to like 34 degrees for a few times we were there but this dress is absolutely beautiful again it's the kind of dress that you can either wear it down the beach with a pair of flip-flops looks fantastic or you can put a big statement belt on it you can put some awesome jewelry and a cool hat pair of really cool boots you've got a great outfit again you could wear a mesh top underneath it or a fishnet top underneath it in the winter and carry you right through it's very very versatile and i love it I, I was a little concerned about all these different linen fabrics and how would they behave when they washed would they look terrible because linen is one of those items that you know people used to talk about linen suits and be like oh my god all you've got to do is breathe on it and you need to iron it again actually i like the fact that it looks a little bit scrunched up i wouldn't want to iron it i think you would iron all the character out of it so I really like the way if you look it is ruched all the way around the waistline there's like a few little bits here where it's not quite ruched as much they've just really carefully thought about the shape it's been very very carefully thought out the design and I really like it we've got this elastic across the top here as well so that it sits beautifully over your bra and you don't get any sort of riding up or down it's just a stunning stunning dress again the length on me is pretty long I am, like I said before, 160 centimetres, four foot three, four foot, four foot three, five foot three, <laughs> five foot three, five foot four. Uh, <laughs> and I am a UK eight to 10. Again, I got this one in a 10. Everything from Mary Wyatt, pretty much, I get in a 10. But this is beautiful. Love, love, love this ebony dress. I actually picked this up at the Brighton Tattoo Convention and we basically only went there because I knew that Mary Wyatt were gonna be there and I wanted to see a bunch of their clothes in the flesh. Um, so yeah, we kind of went there. There's a few items that will be in the ne next haul just because they didn't work with this grouping uh, that I bought from there as well. But it was really great to see everything in real life. I particularly wanted to see some of their trousers and feel what the material was like because it's really difficult to get an idea of what something's like on screen. There was a particular pair of trousers that I p really wanted. I'll stick a picture of them up here. But obviously in the pictures they've always got somebody wearing them sort of rolled up with Doc Martens that's not my style I wanted to know if they would work tucked into new rocks I felt the material was too thick to wear them like that with my styling and again on my 40 year old self I just felt the shape of them would be a little frumpy because it's that kind of mom styling um and it was just it's just not the look that I tend to go for but I was really glad that I got to see them and that I could make an informed decision so yeah if you can ever get to a, an event like that where you can actually go and see the products in real life I would definitely definitely advise that you do it because some of the material uh, some of the things that I discounted on the web on the website I then when I saw them in real life I was like I want it I want it I want it so <laughs> But this, as soon as I found out they had them, because it had been released like the day before or something, I was like, have you got them at the tattoo convention? Will you have enough in this size? And they were like, yes, yes. So I went, I got to meet the team. They were lovely, lovely ladies. So I picked myself up this dress. I literally changed into it in the toilets as soon as we got there. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, love this. This is the Mary Wyatt ebony button down midi dress. Right, so the last item in this haul. This is actually not made of linen. I kind of assumed it was going to be because it's very similar style to the last three dresses slash drip top and skirt. So I kind of assumed it was going to be made out of the same fabric. It's not actually, but I thought it goes best with this haul. So this is the Ophidia strapless dress. Now I got this for my birthday from my parents. I love this dress, it's beautiful. Again, it's very similar to the maiden dress in that you've got this shearing all the way around, but we have no straps here. Uh, and then we have a huge long skirt. I mean, it's super duper long. And then we have these beautiful snake details here on the absolutely ginormous pockets. Honestly, these pockets are enormous. You could, I, I reckon I could fit like, 
my phone and my wallet and my keys i mean it would look a bit lumpy but you know you could get so much stuff in these pockets these are not small pockets and i absolutely love this dress it's beautiful now i like i said i got this for my birthday uh, in mid-august so this is 100 percent cotton poplin fabric i don't know what poplin is but it's beautiful it's it's not t-shirt material but it's not that jersey it's it's got no stretch to it at all this fabric absolutely no stretch hence all the shearing on the bodice so it's got this voluminous midi i mean they call it a midi skirt on me this is a flipping maxi skirt this thing is long on me um and i again i love all the embroidery that they do on the pockets now when i wear this because i've had two children i am 40 my boobs they require a bra and I've got a strapless bra. It still needs that trussing. <laughs> so, so I wear this with a normal bra so that it looks like it has straps. That's just, I, I get it. I know that they wanted it to be, you know, a completely strapless dress, but I'm not blessed with boobs that stay up. So, <laughs> so I wear it with a normal bra. I did try it with my strapless bra. I think I might need to buy another strapless bra. I think my boobs have changed size again since the last time I brought a strapless bra. But quite frankly, I don't really want to, I, I don't want to spend the whole time pulling it up. I've got better things to do with my life. I just wear a normal bra and I still think it looks stunning. It's beautiful. Again, I'm gutted I didn't have this when I was in Lanzarote because again, I would have lived in this. This cotton fabric is so light and airy and cool it just it looks beautiful i got so many compliments on it i actually went out and got the mysticum luna so i had the serpent earrings and for my birthday i asked for uh the necklace and the ring to go with it because i basically wanted to be all matchy matchy serpents everywhere so <laughs> so as you can see it just it looks stunning when you twirl in it you feel amazing it's that it's got that that girly twirly skirt on it which i flipping flipping love it's beautiful it's really well made i mean, i think if you were told me to pick between this and the maiden dress i think the maiden dress would win but i think this would be better on holiday this is better for a really hot climate if you're going away somewhere this will be more comfortable but i think the maiden has slightly more versatility to it but it is still an absolutely stunning dress and i am so happy with it i love it i love it i love it so that is my mary wyatt haul i hope you enjoyed it which one is your favorite item i think gun to my head if you told me i could only keep one of those dresses or tops and skirts i would pick the maiden dress i think it is definitely my favorite of all just because of the versatility of it it's it's just stunning there's the shape of it i mean it's also very that puff sleeve is so in at the moment i i just think it's beautiful but i love the fact that all of them have got their own little features that make them really different and exceptional and that's the thing with mary white there is so much attention to detail the embroidery is flawless the i love the fact that all of the buttons have got the mary white logo on them which is they could have just gone for generic buttons nobody would have noticed if they'd just gone for black generic buttons i love the fact that they've got the mary white logo on they're ever so slightly marbled as well that everything is perfect the attention to detail is lovely even on the mary top which i know i know you can't get it the hooks on the straps here are metal now normally they're plastic it means it will last longer it just shows attention to detail and that they haven't cheaped out on anything i just everything is absolutely beautiful i cannot fault them i have loved everything in this haul and i hope you've enjoyed it too let me know down in the comments what your favorite item from this haul is or if you have any of these items what you think of them i would love to discuss it with you down in the comments there is a 10 percent off discount code down in the description box below you have to click the link i couldn't get a word code i emailed them and asked them if i could have a word code for these videos and they never got back to me unfortunately so if somebody from mary white is watching a code would be lovely please uh, but yes go click on that link that will get you 10 percent off i think your order has to be at least 50 pounds but please go use that code get yourself some money off get yourself one of these many beautiful items or one of the other beautiful items that i will show you in a future mary white haul video they have beautiful stuff i am always massively impressed with the quality i can't wait to show you the next items that i got either it's going to be super duper exciting remember 
to like this video. Comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And thank you to all of you that already do. Hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload. And remember people, stay heavy.